Okay, so if you want to do something cool with your Instagram feed, check out the image splitter. As you can see, it shows you all the steps that you need to upload your image, choose the size of your grid, and then you can download a zip file. And then if you'd like to use your, their software, you can automatically post them, but I just did it manually. You just have to be careful. You can resize, split the image, 3x3, three 3x4, by three, three by crop images, and then you get the results as you can see for your stories and it's pretty cool i just tested it out so that's why i wanted to share this with you and it's going to help to increase our engagement and then you can make a game out of it so i'm gonna select an image okay so i've selected my image and then you can decide how many columns and rows So I've just gone ahead and stretched this out. I'm just going to keep it simple. Three by three split image. There you go. So how to easily post to Instagram. So once it's done downloading, it's going to send you the zip file, which you have to extract on your device. And then you can see the example here on how you're going to post your images starting from at the bottom with one all the way to nine to the top. So just keep that in mind and then make sure your image is displayed correctly on Instagram. You should post each photo in order from least to greatest as shown in the image. And then it's letting you know you can use their software post cron to avoid the hassle but i just did it all on my own okay so i am going to download my image i'm just gonna give it a quick name pink ig shades okay. so these are my files i am going to extract and there they are and you can see that they're numbered so i'm going to start from one all the way to nine and then it'll create the collage so let me go to my Instagram. Okay, so this is my feed from before. I was messing around, trying to figure out how to create this collage. And so I did a lot of it through Canva and then I just did it manually, but it was hard to resize. So that's why I wanna show you guys how I was able to create this other collage, which is pretty cool. I used the splitting system, split image, and then I went into Instagram to enter them manually. And here's the other example. So now I'm going to select the image that I just split. So let me see. I don't remember, so I have to go back to make sure. Okay, so one, it's that little wave. Oh, so there's, okay. So let me see if I can figure it out. I think it's I think it's this one but let me just confirm so yeah it looks like it's that one so i'm going to select it oh this one okay let's select the tones all right let's do soft light and if you'd like you can go into this little magic stick and do some more editing or add music So it gives you more definition. I'm gonna go and select next. Right now I'm not gonna worry about any captions. I'm gonna show you one more time and then I'll just speed it up and do it so you could see. So I'm gonna do number two. So I'm gonna select the lip, number two. Looks like I selected that one. So I'll be back to show you the rest. Okay, so here is the collage. So that's pretty cool. It took me forever to figure this out. So be patient and explore to find methods or software that you find will be of help for you. I just try to find free software to start. And then if I feel that I'm going to use it on a regular basis, then I will invest. But at the moment, this is what my feed looks like. I'm trying to make it look cohesive and trying to be more consistent which that is another video <laughs>